evening and welcome back everyone welcome back to my channel um i will excuse i've just realized i've not put my wedding ring back on because i've just uh, bathed isabel i don't like wearing it in case i scratch her i don't use the film in the evenings because i've obviously had light issues but i've got lamp a lamp either side so hopefully that'll be okay i'm hoping if i'm using the lamp it'll pick up um the shimmers of the pages anyway this was a whip for quite a long time actually and I've just recently finished it. So the background, all of the gold, I keep forgetting the name so I've got to take this down. KJ Designs by Karen and I bought this on Etsy. Um, if I remember I will leave a link below to her store but I have done uh, an in-depth video of these paints. If I bring the light up to the camera. They're absolutely stunning. I can't recommend them enough. They're a little bit more pricier than, like I say, the Gansai Tanvi ones, but they're definitely worth it. Yeah, so this is my first one that I finished. I think the pencils were Prisma, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so that's my first one. I do keep all these in plastic sleeves in a separate folder, but I thought it would best to take them out for this video. Again, this was a a work in progress for a while. I finished this on camera. This one's quite special with this lady being in a wheelchair. Uh, you don't see many uh, pictures of these. Like I've mentioned before about my daughter having cerebral palsy. So it's 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 nice to see that uh, wheelchairs are in colouring boots because like I said, you, do, you just don't see it. More awareness, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I've put a little bit of stickles in the... That water, is it? It's meant to be a brew in it. A cup of tea. Stickles on her boots. And I believe it was Neo colour in the background. Yep, that one is going in a frame in Isabel's room. So is this one. This one was a body colour with, I'm sorry, it's either colour in it V's or colour at V's. Uh, I will leave a link to her channel down below. Um, but yeah. I used, it was Glitter Gel Pen, the Pentel Hybrid uh, Gold for around the windows and then all the rest of it is Prisma but I did actually go over the stained glass windows with the Wink of Stella. Again, I'm actually glad that I've used a lamp because it's going to pick up how beautiful it actually is. I don't think I used any stickles on this one and it was uh, ink tents for the background and ink tent for the bricks with pencil over the top. This one was a big one. This is from the Colouring Heaven um, calendar. So the reason that I did this one is because it's November, it's my birthday. But I think she's turned out gorgeous. Again, with the wings, it's that uh, KJ Designs by Karen. Again, can't recommend it enough. Take a look at them. Uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, I think they're £5 each or four ninety nine. But if you buy um, three or more, you get the tin for free. So it is worth it. Uh, look how beautiful that is. I'll sit to the camera a little bit more. Ah, oh, there you go. It's stunning. So the next one is another Hannah Lane. This was actually, um, it's a full size A4 picture, but I just cut out the bit that I wanted of the, the mother and the child and did this and I framed it again for Isabel's room. There is no stickles or glitter or anything. It's just very basic of, uh, I think usually it was, it was polys with this, polychromos pencils. So yeah, that just sits in her room. I've got another, this is what I scanned. I scanned uh, from the oh, Mythical Maidens so I printed it out on a smaller um, smaller image, smaller size, and I wanted to get a frame for it, and I ended up buying that frame, and it was too small, so I had to pick another, pick another uh, picture to colour. So that's why I did this one, so I will get a frame for this one. Again, that's just polys all over, nothing else. Steampunk Special by Colour in Heaven. So I've worked on this later. We've got acrylic background, again with that 3D 
liquid. I don't even know what it's called. It's that fabric stuff. It works excellent in colouring books. I'll take all my tags out because I'll end up forgetting. <laughs> and I use the mixture of Black Widow pencils, even though I'm not too keen. I use this in this book because I had not had this book for very long and I wanted to test them out in this one. Um, and I think I went over the top with Prismas. There's Wink Costello on the moon. If this, the camera's going to pick it up a little bit. And Costello on the Moon and Glitter Gel Pen again for the gold. And that's all I've actually done in this book. I need to work on this one a little bit more. Frightlings Halloween, another Colouring Heaven one. Again, I've only done one picture in this. This isn't my best work, and the only reason that I did, did it like I did is because I was uh, sitting over at the chair at the time, uh, sitting next to Isabel. So I won't particularly, you know, concentrating, but it's done, you know, it's coloured. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> the next one, <coughs> excuse me, is from Misfits. So this is book number three and it's by White Stag. A really, really easy one. This is one that I just did in bed, so there's no background. No stickles, no glitter glue, no gel pen, no nothing. It's literally polys on this one, polychromos. That's it. I thought this paper would be terrible, like the uh, Amazon printed paper is, but it does seem a little bit better. Might just be in my head, but yeah, that's that. Another Miss Misfits. So this is number 10, the a winter fantasy colouring book, again, White Stag. This one turned out pretty nice. The paper has curled up. So I used, it was the Ganza Tambi for the whole of the sea. I've used ink tents, all here. Anyway, all the dark bits is in ink tents. The whole of the mermaid actually is ink tents. The hair is Prismacolor. I've got glitter gel pens on the dropping snowflakes and there's a bit of white Posca pen to add a bit of snow. I hope the camera's going to pick that up. I do really like this one. Unfortunately, like I said, the paper's curled a little bit. But yeah, it's turned out nice, that one. So this next one was another body colour uh, with Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven. So I've got a couple of working progresses in this one because I do really, really like this boots right at the back. I think she's actually shown this on her channel already, uh, her version of it anyway. I have used, uh, it was Neo Colour 2, Ink Tents, Stickles and Prismacolor. We have a bit of the KJ Designs by Karen, the watercolour and Posca paint pen. But again, if I lift it up, I hope the camera's gonna pick it up. I based the whole uh, colour scheme off this, off um, a computer game that I used to play quite a lot. Uh, I was like under, underground, like monsters, that sort of thing. And the picture that I had in my head, it, it turned out pretty much, you know, dot on. <laughs> Then that's Ticket to Dreams. I have got a Jasmine book. I am forever trying to pronounce her last name. Um, I always muggle it up. So it's only a little one on this one. Just a little dragon. So this one, I just used Castle Art pencils. I just wanted to test them on that one. I don't want to bend the boot too much and obviously crease it. But hopefully you can see there. I mean, they're okay. They're not my favourite, but they're, they're a good, cheaper version pencil. So, yeah, that's that one. So, my next one is another Jasmine one. The Mermaids. This is one of my favourites. Uh, you know what? I've still not worked on the uh, Alice one yet. I was so excited to get that one. And now that I've got it, I've just not had time because of the Soulmates book. Well, this has took me quite a few weeks to finish off, obviously, with everything else that's going on. 
so I've got ink tents for the background mixed with the neo colour and everything else is polys, polychromos pencils, tags are flipping up everywhere yeah and a bit of glitter gel pen for that and I think I think I am getting slightly better at the skin I know I need to work I need to practice on it let me just see if I can show you come on camera it's my fault because I don't know where the camera is <laughs> yeah I love a green eyes I think they've turned out super nice let me try and zoom you in that might be a bit better yeah, she's turned out lovely it is coming down gale force out there at the moment we're having um, flood warnings all day the last couple of days actually so yeah that's that one i'll zoom you back out again this was meant to be in a different pile so another hannah one sweet and simple yep this one was very very simple i'm pretty sure it was a marker base yep so it was Oh, what are they called? I can't for the life of me remember what they were called. They were the pastel, pastel markers that I've done a review on on my channel. They're not, are they Windsor & Newton? Spectrum Noir? No, they're Spectrum Noir. Um, and then Prismacolor. As you can see, I really, really need to practice with the nose. That looks like a rabbit's nose. But yeah, that's one done. Um... Winter Dreams postcards. I will have to zoom you in because it is quite small, this book. Um, I think I've done two in this one. This is just really easy, easy colouring. So I've literally done the whole thing with glitter gel pen. And I mean, I can just sit there and I can watch TV and not concentrate. I'll zoom you out a little bit so you can see. Am I better off lifting it up like that? Yeah, it's just easy colouring this. You know, not worrying about shading or anything. And then I finished the rabbit in last night, I believe. So there's glitter gel pen on that also, as well as polys. And that's it. I unfortunately lent on it when I was colouring and then dried the colour down with me. That's fine. I believe that she's come out with some of these images as full uh, A4 size on her Etsy page to print off but I'm not going to buy any of them I'm, I'm happy with these ones that I've got it's a really nice boot this you know it won't take you too long to uh, finish a page so I've got another Hannah Cowles and I've been on my Hannah Cowles on kick this um, this month Daydreams and it's I'm pretty sure it's a squirrel in there yeah, it is. I can see the acrylic background. So I kept the red acrylic. I was initially going to change it to black, but I decided to keep it. Tried to go with the gold frame. That's pencil. Uh, not much shade in there. A few stickles on his crown. And then I went over the jewels with Wink Costello. And there is glitter gel pen all around the perimeter. So yeah, I think he's turned out so cute. He's lovely. We're getting lots of the lots of uh, squirrels around where we live at the moment. So yeah, I was just checking if there was any bleed through at the back, and it's not luckily. So yeah, that's another Hannah Carl's on. So while I'm on Hannah Carl's on, I'll quickly flip through this. I mean, I'm not going to go into detail like I did with the uh, with the other video, but a very quick one you know it's finished Nash thank the lord I still will colour Hannah Carl's on stuff but I think I'll probably work on um, her other book as opposed to working in this because I'm sort of burnt out now with this book I need a break so yeah some of these pictures you've already seen um, just very quickly yeah, this is this is one of my favourites and there's a cat one yep this one that leopard one was a bit of a fail that's a really nice one that i'm happy with uh there's one coming up that i will have to mention this i like this one as well this one here i'll have to mention it again i printed off some um old writing old love, love letters 
Um, I think that's an old bill as well. I printed them off, popped them in the sink with some tea bags, I dyed the paper and then stuck them to this. And I think this is so effective. I mean, once I've coloured the images, I will go around the edges with probably Distress Ink to block out some of this white colour. But again, I, I, I love that. I just love the idea of it. It has made the paper obviously very, very thick and I've had bleed through last night when I did this one. As you can see here and here, but it'll be fine once I have to add the Distress Ink, it's fine. Another one that I like, again, with the KGA Designs by Karen. I'm not classing that as a proper picture. It'll get done eventually. That, that is so mate. So my phone decided to uh, not connect to my iPad then. I've got my phone connected to my iPad here so I can see what I'm filming because I've um, filmed in the past. I've not been able to see what I'm actually, you know, doing or filming. And it's been out of focus, etc, etc. So I, I always have it connected to this now and it decided to kick me out. Anyway, so we've got flowers and gems. I only got this Saturday and we are Monday, Monday now, yeah. Done one in this. This is a fantastic boot. The quality of the paper, again, is brilliant. I'll turn the page here. And this is the lady that I've finished. I absolutely love how she's turned out. Love how she's turned out. So I used a base on her skin and and the flowers of uh, Lamouche Marcus, alcohol Marcus. And then I went over with polys everywhere else. And the only thing that's different, I've got stickles on the jewels and I've got glitter gel pen. You have to have some sort of gel pen or stickles. But yeah. I am so happy how she's turned out. I know that it's grayscale and it's it's easier to colour in the skin, but uh, I think it's good working on grayscale because then you can learn where, where the shading is meant to be on the face. Like this, for instance. And the more I do this, I'll learn, right, the shade is meant to be here or here, you know, top lip, above the eyebrows, etc., etc. So yeah, I'm super happy how that one's turned out. That one's flowers and gems. Two left. My favourite pop manga. I don't know if it's this one. I think it's this one that's fallen apart a little bit. Someone actually commented on one of my videos and said that her book is doing a similar sort of thing and they've not actually used any watercolour in it. So it's a bit strange really. So they're not cheap these boots. I think I paid £15, I believe, in WH Smith for this one. I got the other one a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Um, this was a whip for quite a little while. I think I did the backgrounds and showed you them on my colouring boot collection. I've only just recently come round to actually finishing it. So it's Prismacolor, that's all it is. There's no stickles, no nothing else. Not anything that's different. I used a bit of washi tape down here just to add a bit of you know, something because it's literally a black background. Whereas you can see the stars slightly popping up through here. But yeah, um, she reminds me of my daughter so much. Uh, she's not got uh, ginger hair, she's got quite dark blonde hair, my daughter. And sometimes with or without the horns is definitely Isabel. But yeah, super cute. And the last one I've got to show is Pop Manga Mermaids. I think I've, yeah, I've done two in this one. If I can get to the page. This was finished this afternoon, easy, easy colour. Nothing extra on it, polychromos, the whole thing polychromos. I'm not gonna bother adding a background. No, when I do this one as well, I'm not gonna bother adding a background. I don't think it needs it. So, and this is another one. I love the double page spreads in these, but the only thing that gets on my nerves, how are you meant to colour in between here without destroying the book? There's no way of doing it, unfortunately. So I think I'll probably tend to stick to all the single pages, even though the double spreads are beautiful. It's a shame, really. And the little monkeys, how cute are these? 
So I did the bananas again with the 3D. It's actually, it's still 3D, but it's flattened a little bit since being on my bookshelf. Yeah, that's so cute. I love the feeling of these as well. So smooth. <laughs> yeah, let me just find like, this, this for instance, this is a gorgeous double page. And I think I might be able to just about do the head of this fish. But it's a shame. The paper shouldn't be like that. It's annoying, really. No, this is another one that I'd love to do. But how are you meant to get in there? I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling on. So, yeah. I think I've done well. Considering I had, uh, I had my operation last month as well. So, I was out of colouring. Properly colouring, like sitting at my dining table. Uh, with everything out in front of me. For a good five, six days. And considering again that I've been working on the Hannah Carl's on boots every single night or every afternoon if, if I've got free time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's not too long. I'll try and edit it down a little bit and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.